Hello, y'all. This is a part of the Warband Lore and History series explaining the Kingdoms of Caradia. The subject of this video is the Kingdom of Nords. Just a warning, I do not have Banner Lord at the time of recording, and so this video silly relies on information taken from Warband. The Kingdom of Nords is found in northwest Caradia. The capital is the city of Sargoth, and it has the two notable cities of Tyr and Rircheg. Their Traveler Deterrent, also known as Bandits, are the dangerous sea raiders who will always attack and will deny all forms of negotiation. The kingdom borders Swadia and the Vagars. Nords are the finest infantry in Karadia, with their Hoskarl shield walls devastating anyone unlucky enough to fight them. Backed up by archers, close combat oriented warriors wield axes of all kinds, ranging from small throwing axes to massive two handed behemoths of slashing death. They choose not to rely upon any cavalry formations with all rank and file fighting on foot. Soldiers are armed with thick round shields, making them a dangerous threat in sieges. Lords of the Nords are referred to as Jarls, who bravely lead their armies in the battle. The Nords and Sea Raider bandits originate from a distant land across the sea known as Nordland, but this place is also referred to as Jum, a Karadic emperor, gave them a small strip of land along the coast in return for crewing his galleys. More arrived when Gundig Harrybreeks landed in Karadia and planted his banner on the headland, believing all of Karadia to be his inheritance, having been told so by the Skalds. Even if this wasn't true, it was a proper excuse to raise a war band from the Nordland Nords and the Karadian Nords. Gundig later marched against the Vagars. He would extract a Nordgeld from weak settlements this being yearly payment to prevent the Nords from raising their villages. Gundig died trying to invade Rivercheg, and his banner was thrown back into the sea. Even after this, Nords continue to come, and vow that someday all of Caradia will belong to them. The Nords have a reputation for barbarity, but are also savvy traders, and make the population up and down the coast grow flax, which is weaved into linen. It provides good summertime wear and sails, but more importantly, it wasn't being made by anyone else in Caradia. Nords place a great emphasis on martial prowess and are led by a king, the current of which is the ferocious King Ragnar, a former thane of the now deceased King Hakram, who had his supporters proclaim the new ruler before Hakram's son, heir, and claimant, Lethwin Farseeker, returned back to the kingdom whom was away on a course of study. King Ragnar says Lethwin is a youth and inexperienced in battle, and if that he were king, his thanes would laugh at him to his face. Lethwin Farseeker challenges this opinion, saying that as heirs of Caradia, Nords should know something of law and letters, and not merely be drunken plunderers. Furthermore, he proclaims if a warrior can be a scholar, a scholar can be a warrior, and a person who combines the two is fit to be a king. Lethwin is currently seeking refuge in other realms, and seeks out someone who can lead his cause, but until that day comes, King Ragnar shall stay. This was the Lord History of the Nords. Leave a comment on who you think should lead them, and make sure to like and subscribe.